What's up everyone? Welcome back to the LeBron James Road to Glory in NCAA Football 14. We've got two games today. We are going to be taking on the number 24 team, the Wisconsin Badgers, as well as Northwestern University. In this episode, we're going to try to get that position battle beat. We did not beat it this first time, but we'll see if we can beat it later on in the episode. So let's get into this game against Wisconsin. This is probably going to be our Big Ten matchup of the year. We'll see if we can come out on top in this one. But it's already 17-7, and LeBron hasn't even made a play in this game. He is going to catch that one, but only picks up 9 yards. Now 24 seconds left in the half. LeBron is going to make another play right here over the middle. And the Ohio State is going to take a timeout, but unfortunately... They could not score on the next play, and so that is going to make it 34-7 to now late in the fourth quarter as LeBron not getting much action in Ohio State, not having much success. They actually jumped out to a 7-0 lead and then allowed 34 straight. Final possession of the game now, 122 left in the game. Just trying to pad our stats a little bit. Going to run this little route over the middle, trying to get open. Not really, not really any point in the game at this point, but might as well try to do as much as we can in terms of getting stats. And this is a nice, actually, nice catch right here by LeBron. That's going to be the final play of the afternoon. Ohio State loses 34-7 to to Wisconsin. Just a rough season. Between losing in quadruple overtime to Buffalo and then getting killed by Wisconsin, it's just not Ohio State's year, it seems like. But five grabs for 80 yards. I believe three of those catches came on the final drive. At least two of them did. Another one came in the fourth quarter. Not a great day, but again, offense just was not very productive. But it's time once again to do our position battle and see if we can finally become the number one receiver on the Ohio State depth chart. That means we'll get all the best routes, all the best targets, and pretty much everything that's the best instead of the second place stuff because being number two on the depth chart gives you a lot of really bad routes and the quarterback really doesn't look your way very much. So anyway, we are getting off to a quick start here in this position battle as we already have 140 points on our first wrap. And now we are going to be running a deep route right here and we actually quickly get open and we have a ton of space and we are going to get a touchdown right there. And getting a touchdown helped out quite a bit as we got almost a thousand points. It's actually closer to like 900 points, but we we're 800 points. But we got almost a thousand points now total because of that touchdown that we scored. And now we run a couple of stupid plays in a row, a quick screen, and now it's going to be another screen. We actually managed to hold on to this one, but still, we're not going to go very far with that. And then they're going to run another screen right here. And at this point, I was kind of getting concerned. I was like, are they going to keep running screens for the rest of this practice? But it does pad your stats a little bit. And they run another screen right here. This time it's the same screen from before. This can be successful. But right here it actually gets broken up as it was double covered. And now running a normal play weak flood right here. This is actually one of my favorite plays in Madden. I have not really tried it in NCAA. I don't use a playbook that has it currently. But this is actually going to go the other way. But we only need 400 more points. Which just means we need to make a couple of big plays. Or maybe even just one big play. Because that's where most of our points come from already. A tough catch right there. And it's poked out. It's going to count as a drop I'm pretty sure. But actually it doesn't count as a drop. Because it's just practice. But less than half the way to go. We need about 400 more points. Not going to get it right there, as that is going to be a short pass. But jet sweep right here. This is going to go to LeBron. Not the greatest speed, but we'll see if he can make a play on this one. And he gets a lot of open room to the right side. Tries to get past the last guy, but can't quite. And that gets us quite a bit of points toward our position battle. We're actually going to get a chance to run once again. And that throw was way offline because they didn't understand that that was a throwing play. I thought it was honestly just a running play. But now we're running spacing, which means we can pretty much get the freestyle, and that is going to do it as we are going to win our position battle right there. I'll speed up the rest of this so you can just see how the rest of it went. I actually don't even think I made a catch the rest of the time, but uh, we did run on the last play. And we will win our position battle. Now we are the top wide receiver on the depth chart, and we are going to get to test that out against a somewhat weaker Northwestern team, although they technically have a better record than us. They've only lost one game, and we've lost two. This team is not really, not really a very talented team by overall, so hopefully we can get something going against them maybe test out some new routes and have some success hopefully i at least hope that we can try to get this team back on the right track but early on first quarter nobody scored yet now lebron wide open probably should have taken a couple more steps over the line before we called for the ball right there but now lebron's going to get his first opportunity on the jet sweep to run this one and he runs it to the outside i actually probably should have run it up the middle we break a tackle but we could have had much more yards i tried to break it outside and that was my fault 
Should have just went up the middle with it, but five yards is, is better than nothing. Now LeBron going to catch this one for a touchdown in Ohio State. Opens up the scoring here. Actually took them into the second quarter, but now they're up 21 nothing in the second quarter. LeBron is going to catch this one over the middle, try to make a play, but we just don't quite have that speed yet. Waiting on that speed upgrade. And now, time winding down, Ohio State's not going to call a timeout. LeBron open, but he is not going to get to the end zone. It was only a, about a missed tackle away from actually breaking it, but still don't quite have that speed yet. Averaging under 10 yards to catch, but we've made four catches so far, and we're actually going to make another one right here with the linebacker looking right at us. Did not really react to the ball right there. It's only going to be nine yards, but an important first down still. And speaking of first downs, it's not third down, and we need another one of those, and we're going to get it right there. LeBron making a play 13 yards in the air right there. Six catches for exactly 60 yards, so a little bit more volume in the last game, but we haven't had a whole lot of explosiveness still. And now going over the middle, making room, getting around one guy, 15 yards, and that is going to wrap up our afternoon. We actually let Northwestern get a little bit back into this game, but we do come out on top 28 to 14, and LeBron finishes the day with seven catches for 75 yards and a touchdown, averaging about 10 yards per catch, you know, like 10 and a half. But pr pretty productive day, pretty good day in terms of college production. And we're going to head over to our skill upgrades because there's a very, very good one here. It is not for speed, but it is going to max out our catch and catch in traffic. So it means less of those less of those balls will get poked out, less of them will get dropped. It doesn't quite upgrade the spec catch, but which is a little bit concerning. But max catching and max catching in traffic as just a freshman is going to pay dividends in the future. So we are definitely going to be purchasing this upgrade. We have plenty of skill points left over as is anyway. So we are going to max out our catching and catching traffic. And that's actually gonna bring us up to a 93 overall as just a freshman. So that is gonna do it for this round of games. A couple of decently productive games, not a whole lot of explosion like last episode where we had 200 yards in a game but still productive afternoons in in the stat sheet not maybe not in game situations we just could not do anything against wisconsin our team struggled but next time we will be taking on iowa hopefully that will be a good maybe more close game maybe not more close maybe ohio state will blow them out but hopefully we can find ourselves on the right end of any situation in that game so that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more lebron james road to glory and ncaa football 14